Welcome, Welcome to the Nightly Rant with your, your hosts, hosts, Mike and Toria. This is the show where we examine society from a sarcastic point of view. If you like insane conversations, this is definitely the show for you. Let's get into today's topic. YPN people, I don't know about you, but I love helping out a friend. That's why I want to shout out my friend Brian Little and his podcast, Your Favorite Blockhead. This is the only show that manages to weave together peanuts and MMA into one heck of an amazing podcast. You can find your favorite blockhead wherever your favorite podcasts reside and at yourfavoriteblockhead.com. Do me a huge favor and listen to Brian's show. You'll be entertained and you'll help out a friend. Now, as I said, let's get into today's topic. So I read this really interesting article on Medium. <laughs> you read a lot of shit on Medium. And it was about, it was written from the woman's perspective, and she was writing about being in love with and dating a man twice her age. And okay. what was interesting in their case was that friends kind of tried to set them up because Weird. they invited them to something. They were the only two single people. And they suggested, his friend suggested that he sit next to her, and her friend suggested that she sit next to him. But because they're both stubborn, independent people, they both declined that offer and sat at the opposite ends of the table. Uh-huh. Well, then she had a Tinder date. Uh-huh. And left. But the Tinder date was so bad so fast <laughs> that she made it back to where her friends were still partying. Okay. And this time, she had an actual conversation with her future partner. Interesting. And they've been inseparable ever since. Okay. And one of the things that she said is interesting about it is that they have willingly entered a world where they're the center of attention most everywhere that they go because people see the age difference and they stare. They have positive reaction, negative reaction. Who knows? But they notice it. It's noticeable. To interject something into what you just said, I figured out the one positive thing about wearing face masks everywhere you go in public. You and I don't get those stares anymore. Yeah. But it, but you're getting what I'm saying, right? Like, right. That's kind of the attitude of society is, you know, oh... I don't like that you're together. You shouldn't be together. So I'm going to stare at you and make you uncomfortable. But here are two people who don't like to be in the spotlight. It's why they didn't do what they were told to do. Right. Have chosen a relationship that puts them in the spotlight. And I mean, it kind of reminds me of us because I've always preferred kind of the behind the scenes role in anything except for technology and then i want to be the leader okay um but i've always accepted like a behind the scenes role and so to me the whole theory is interesting because it's like back to the whole like well you're you two are old he's older than you well why do you care yeah why is it your business like why do you care it doesn't affect you right so why do you care but yet you not only care, you subject us to evil stares. And they talked about getting poor service at a restaurant. That's happened to us too, remember? Yep. And we've gotten it. And here's the thing. They didn't say what their ethnicity was. But at this point, it infers that they were not white. Because they went to a, this regular old restaurant and didn't like describe the staff at all. Just try to make it all generic. But then they made it a point of saying, we didn't understand if this was because of our age difference or our ethnicities. So clearly, that kind clearly of implies they could be that they're mixed, not the same. Ethnicity. Yeah, they could be a mixed race relationship. Exactly. Yeah. So they got two things going against them. Yeah. In society's eyes. But it's funny. Society chooses the age difference to pick on, not the social differences. I, and I, I think they're both wrong to pick on. I think if you saw a mixed race couple at a table next to an age difference couple, 
people would simultaneously stare at both of them. Yes, like, but if I don't they were think having they would to judge... choose because one was on one side of the restaurant, one was on the other, the majority would stare down the age difference couple. Which is like, I don't get it. I don't get either of them. I think it's ridiculous. It's not your business who somebody else is in a relationship, you dumb, stupid ass But like, I don't know if anyone of our listeners knows this, but we have a relationship like that. I'm basically twice as old as you are. Right. And I've been in relationships with women who are older than me. I've been in relationships with women who are the same age as me or just slightly younger, or slightly older than me. And I've been in relationships with women who are younger than me. And you're probably the first and only person who understands me and accepts me exactly where I am. Sitting in my chair at my desk. So why would <laughs> <laughs> why would I not want a relationship with you? And you know, then people make it sound like I'm forcing you to be in a relationship. But the reality is you still choose whether you're gonna be in the relationship or not gonna be well, in the relationship. Course. It's still your choice. But right. people don't make it sound that way. They make it sound like because you're the younger person, you can't possibly Make up your own mind and be with somebody. Yeah, I know. You've clearly coerced me to being in this relationship with you. Well, like, okay. It's interesting to see, but like that Marrying Millions show, it kind of leads me to that, okay? Because, you know, it's, again, it's related. Age difference tends to be what they focus on in that show. And the reason they focus on it is because it gets the most attention. It's what attracts people. And like, like that one... The guy's 69 years old, and he is with, I would have to say, an extremely attractive, what, 23-year-old girl? Yeah, I think that's what they said, that she was 23. And he's 69 years old. So he, she's, so, he's three times her age. Yes. So she, throughout the episodes, has always seemed to me like she's into him for him. I agree. And that she's aware of their age difference, and it does concern her on various levels. Right. But she's willing to give it time to see if it works itself out. That's kind of how I see her. I 95% agree with you. I think she started the relationship because he's a rich dude. And yeah. I think that she will make certain decisions because he's a rich dude. But I agree with you that she genuinely loves him. Yeah. For him and not for his money. The money like, is just a perk that's going to... My favorite to... part about that guy, though, is that he's not a really good-looking, decent-looking guy. Like, right. Like the skater dude and the beauty lady. Right. When he, like, went on the date proper with her and he was going to meet her friends, he, like, had his beard slicked in with some beard oil. He had his hair done up nice. He's so nasty. He kept it under control best he could. Right. So if he even he can clean up like the older dude should be able to clean up a little bit and he doesn't even try. He dresses like an eccentric 70 year old man with like the blue and orange print pants and then like an orange button down shirt that's unbuttoned to like below his man boobies to show off his chest bush. Ugh. And I'm telling you, there's probably Ugh. not a man alive out there who would look at the girl he's with and think, oh, I can just walk up there and steal her away. Because while she's very, very attractive, and usually that means super shallow, sorry, just does, she seems, like I said, to be into him, and you seem to agree mostly, yeah. into him, for him. I don't care how it started, where it went. All I care about is the end result, right? Well, like we were talking about earlier... In the last episode, sorry for the spoiler. If you're a Marrying Millions watcher and you're behind watching it at all, stop listening for the next 48 seconds. Anyway, in the last episode we watched, he proposed to her. And she said yes, but then she was like, bro, you didn't ask my dad. And she was like freaking out about it. And you and I had the conversation about, well, do we think she's going to marry him anyway and alienate her father? And I do think she will because the money. That's a decision I think she's going to make because the well, money. Well, at that point, yes. I would. And you know what? I wouldn't blame her because at that point, she already loves him and she knows that he loves her. So just because your dad is going to try to be a control freak right. and interfere in your relationship, you have to ask yourself, 
take dad out of the picture completely remove right. him from the picture because i can't control him would i still marry him yes all right then i'm marrying him because you're right and if it's for the financial security later in life so be it man so be it it is what it is you got to live life right exactly so i think that this whole line of thinking that like leads us down this whole path it's not just discriminatory to look down on people or stare at them like they're an animal because they have an age difference. What people don't seem to understand, and I see it all the time, and I sympathize with this, okay, is you'll see people go, oh, well, she's 23 and he's 33. That's disgusting. Well, okay, that's a person who clearly believes in like so-called traditional um, relationship situation where he and her are closer in age. And so 10 years is too much for them. Well, in, they're clearly going to be the ones that stare at us. Hold up. You're saying that that's traditional? In 1942, my 35-year-old grandfather married my 17-year-old grandmother. Well, you know what? I'm going to admit something to you. I didn't know how to switch up what I was saying there because as I was saying it, I thought about, and I would have approached this in a minute after you said whatever you were going to say, right. but I thought about, you know, that's really not true. Back even in the 1800s, they used to marry girls when they were like 13, 14, 15 years old. And it was and always he'd be to like men, 26 or 27 years old. It was old. to men who'd figured their life out. They had the farm together. They had a job and they were ready to have a wife now. And they wifed them as young as possible. Yeah. Because that way they'd have more years to bear children. That's right. the whole point. And then the family who had the daughter didn't have to take care of her anymore. Right. It's just how it went. And usually they'd get a little bit of a you dowry. You auctioned them off. You know? I mean, so, but like in this case, going back to the marrying millions one, from the very beginning, I've looked at that chick and I have thought to myself, why would she pick him? That was my original question. Like of all, if she's after money, she could have gone after some 30 plus year old guy. And she's exactly. attractive enough that she could have done it. But exactly. she's stuck with him, which kind of proves our point. And that's kind of like where I come at it with you. Like, like I started saying, you understand me. You take me right where I'm at. If I'm in a bad mood, you accept that I'm in a bad mood. And if I'm in a good mood, you play along with me. As long as you're in a good mood, you'll play along with me. Most of the time you will play along. Or even in a neutral mood. And if yeah, I'm in a bad yeah. mood and you're in a good mood or vice versa, yeah, it's not, not great. Easy. But, but not great for anybody. But we play off of each other and we have a good time. And like, I don't know. We act how we want to act with each other. It's not like you're trying to act older or I'm trying to act younger. We just act in a way that makes each of us happy at that time. And it's funny because I'm doing what I'm doing because I know it makes you laugh. Right. And you're doing what you're doing because you know it makes me laugh. You're easy to make laugh, though. And then in the interim, <laughs> by doing what we're doing, we're not just making you laugh, but because you're laughing, it makes me laugh. There have been some nights, some nights, where I have had you giggling to the point where you're like begging me to stop making yes. you laugh. And I know. My like stomach has tears hurt. Tears and stomach pain. Yeah, exactly. The dog knows. The dog knows. She knows everything. But But that's like really... <laughs> To my way of thinking, why the ageism thing just needs to go away. Like, my body, my choice, I agree with that. But yeah. my life, my choice. I mean... It's the same thing, though. It's you, exactly the same thing. It's my body, my choice. Not, I'm making the decisions for my existence. You're not putting anybody in a position where they would be uncomfortable. And, like, some people say, oh, well... When my kids are around your kids. Well, you don't have to allow your kids to be around my kids when I'm around. You don't have to. Right. You can avoid that situation. I'm just living life, man. And if you actually came to me and said, look, I know this is bad, but we don't really want to explain this to our younger kids. So if you wouldn't mind, like, keeping your, you know, like, not always coming together to these meets, I might consider it if it was approached respectfully. Of just, like, Going to every other one instead of everyone. Might. Didn't say I would. Haven't processed it through all the way. I can see the look on your face. Because you're already jumping to the, hell no. I'm not doing that. Heck no. Nah, no way. It's right. What do you say, Bree? 
Bree says, oh, oh shucks. Oh, 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 oh shucks. That's all Bree can say. <laughs> oh, shucks. Bree doesn't know what the heck to do because she doesn't understand why we're talking, but not to her. Yeah, and she she's usually offended. wants to be the center of attention, which is why right she takes now. the B-A-L-L and like puts it on your lap and tries to become the center of attention, but she's not at the moment. <laughs> Although is depressed. she, though? Although is she, though? But hey, okay, listen. People out there who like stare at people who have age difference, I want to hear from you. So shoot us a quick email to info yogispodcastnetwork.com and let us know your Why? thoughts. Now, if you want us to take you seriously, and we're just being honest, if you want us to take you seriously, what you got to do is you got to run that email through Grammarly. And if you have, if you have Microsoft <laughs> Outlook, they have an add-in for Microsoft Outlook now that Grammarly's your emails. But use Grammarly because seriously? we like good what? Grammar. Yeah, we like good grammar. If you use the wrong your in your email about how you hate our age difference, I'm going to relentlessly make fun of you. So email us, but yes, use Grammarly. Yes, and use Grammarly. Get a check it out at yogispodcastnetwork.com forward slash Grammarly. Spelled exactly how it sounds. Grammarly. G-R-A-M-M-A-R-L-Y. Grammarly. Check it out. Yes, I have to let you know, we will make a teeny tiny little bit of money if you sign click that link and sign up, but it will not cost you anything extra. So no more ageism, right? Ageism sucks because it's our right to live how we want to live. Right. But okay. I wonder sometimes about the complete and total lack of any kind of protective rules like at what point does it not be okay if you're an adult at no point is it not okay both people are an adult Uh uh-huh okay that's what i'm getting at with this because one of the reasons why people don't like like that crazy mormon cult that's out there um i can't remember what the guy's name is warren jeffs started it yeah, because he marries off 13-year-olds to 90-year-old men. Because he marries off 13-year-olds to, like, 90-year-old men. It's, like, disgusting and gross and should not happen. Like, nasty. Just totally, completely nasty. Well, they're not adults. It's been decided that people under 18 can't make those decisions for themselves. So? Well, I think he does it to guarantee that the church gets the land and resources from that person. Because it goes to the wife, Right. And then they're going to offer their help and support for a nominal donation. Just how I see it. I'm a skeptic, so there's that. But, yeah. So, let us live our lives. We'll let you live your lives. We don't get in your way. You know, I don't understand if you can accept um, a man and a woman choosing to date each other. You should be able to accept that regardless of their age difference. As long as they're both adults. Right. It's that simple. And that nobody is controlling the other one. I mean, that's. Well, right. If there's some, but that would be, that would be something illegal going on. Right. And if you're violating the law, well, I don't support that. So... But stop looking at me like I'm stupid. Stop looking at me like I'm just into somebody's money. You can knock it the fuck off now. Well, that's why I'm a grown I'm ass you. lady. I get to make these decisions for myself. That's why I'm into you for your money. That's nice. <laughs> You know that's not true. See, here's where I can swing the compliment back around. And I'm not saying, but I could say, nah, never mind. Wow. <laughs> anyway, on that mildly confusing and completely irrational note, good night, everyone. Hasta la bye bye. Thank you for listening to the Nightly Rant. If you enjoyed the show, please give us a five star rating on Apple Podcasts or Google Play. If you didn't enjoy the show, please just ignore that previous request for a rating. This has been a Yogi's Podcast Network production.